Welcome back to another video guys and today thank you guys for tuning into this video. What we are doing today is we are switching the red tails out of this tank right here, the two little babies. We're going to put them in this 20 gallon right behind me. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And if you guys are ever wondering how I stay so motivated to keep myself up with the videos and do all this stuff and wake up, today I filmed two videos, I edited one and I posted it. So I'm not trying to say anything, but I do a lot for you guys, but I don't even think you guys understand it. How I do it is I go on my phone in the morning and after I do uh, usually one video, because sometimes I film two videos in a day, and if I do film two videos in a day, or to keep me going, I watch Gary Vernachek, and he is absolutely a great inspiration to me. And it just keeps me motivated to go and film as many videos, everything that I can and my ability for you guys, for the family and these two little guys are about three inches now or oh, maybe a little bit bigger than that honestly uh, I don't know they're pretty much three inches we're gonna put them in this tank right here so let's get started with taking this top off even though it's gonna be blinding for you guys and I think it's time to put some fish in here we're gonna take this pump this air pump out of here and take the two molly or take the one molly out of there and put the red tails in here even though I said that a million times already. Oh, and I just done new gravel for it. Here, water pebbles. And I forgot to mention that, um, yeah, you always gonna rinse these things if you get them. And I did rinse them. That's why I didn't make it dirty at all, even though these pebbles wouldn't make your tank or pond dirty at all anyways. But let's go get um, bags for the red tails. And I know you guys are gonna roast me for this, but I don't have any bags. So we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. We're gonna have to go get a bucket, a small bucket. We're gonna take the water from this tank in here. We're gonna put it in the bucket, probably about halfway. And then we're gonna start putting some of the water that's in here into the bucket. This is gonna get me roasted, I already know it. You don't know how to take care of your fish. All right, we're back with this little tiny bucket right here. We're gonna fill half of it up with this water in here. And then we're gonna get half the water out of this tank right here. With this net, we're gonna catch them too. Have you guys ever noticed, like, when people say, Oh, you suck so bad at something. You're horrible at fish keeping. You don't know how to do this. But didn't you suck at one time, too, or did it just come natural? Like, everyone thinks that everything should just be perfect. That's not how the world works. Like, not everyone's good at just speaking in front of a camera. It's like, geez, I, I completely suck. I still suck after doing it for a few months now. I'm, I'm used to it, but I'm, I'm just horrible at speaking in front of a camera. Today is probably the best day I've ever had in front of a camera. I'm not even going to lie. It's because today I just feel like the most confident I've ever felt in my life with filming a video. I don't know why, but I just do. We got the first victim right here. We got this molly, or the platy, the live bear. We're gonna stick them in here. Cause you know, platies and mollies have legs too. We can get one of the red tails real quick. Here's the first red tail. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. He's so cute. And then here we got the bigger one. He is even cuter. So you can't even see him. There he is. You guys can barely see him. But we're gonna put him in the bucket too. Now, it is time to get some of the water from this tank. Even though I said it a million times already. We're gonna take Half a scoop by half a scoop. Half. We're gonna put it in there. And now we're gonna wait a little bit and then we're gonna put some more in there. And then we're gonna set them free into this tank right here. It's been running for seven days, actually eight days now. And we're all good. We're gonna let it go. And we're gonna have new fish in this tank finally. And this is going to be the quarantine tank for you people saying, I need a quarantine tank. This is going to be it so my fish don't get sick when I'm putting new fish in the tanks with this right here. 
and in that one right there. And also, I'm going to have a quarantine tank for the big pond and the small pond. Big tubs. They're going to be big tubs that I'm probably going to either put in the pond or put in the ground, or I'm just going to have them next to the pond. So whenever I get a new fish, it's already water in there, and then they're just going to go straight into the pond like that. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a second when these fish are getting used to this water in here. And honestly, uh, I'm debating on whether to go back every single day like I was before or to stay every other day. So if you guys think I should go back to every day, get this video a thumbs up. And if it gets like 1,500, yeah, let's say 1,500 because you guys can check how much likes I get if I have 1,500. You guys can be on your computer and you could go over the like and the d dislike button and you don't have to click either one and it'll tell you how many likes I have. So if this video gets 1500 likes, I will go back to every day. And these fish seem to be um, calming down inside of here. They're not freaking out as much as they just were. We're going to let them sit in there for another few minutes. I've had them in there for five minutes already. We're going to let them sit in there for another few minutes and then I'm going to take some more water out and put it inside of there with them. All right, it's been another five minutes, and we are ready to put a little bit more water inside of there. And honestly, I don't really mind getting hated on or losing. Like, say I like I get a video that gets a lot of dislikes or something. I like losing. Trust me. I used to hate it when I was younger, but now since I'm getting older and I'm noticing like how much it is to lose then it just makes you want to win more. And once you start losing, and you think that is basically a win, because it teaches you something that you should do better on in the future, it basically, it counts as a win too. And it just makes you want to win even more when it's more needed. And if you lose in something big, then you just keep going after. You keep going on until you get what you want. And once you put your mind to it, and you just keep pushing at it, keep going at it, basically like I am with YouTube right now. I'm just going at it and going at it until I, until I make it. And once I make it, then I'm gonna keep going at it. And then it's just gonna keep going from there, gonna keep growing. All right, Biscuit. It's time to put them in. They're ready. They're ready to go in. They've been in here for a total of 25 minutes now, full acclimation with these little guys right here. Because I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I really care about animals and I really care about my fish. I don't just impulse buy like everyone says I do. I get my fish and do you see all these fish right here? You guys probably can't see them right now. But all these fish right here, I've had since they were this big for a while now. And some of them I didn't even video because I really just wanted the experience of going to buy the fish and getting to pick out the fish that I wanted. These are the two guys that I filmed though and the shovel nose that is in there. Aha, I got you. Because you can't cross contaminate your tanks. Here's the first red tail. I can guarantee they're looking to like it a lot more in here the biggest home they've been in. This molly will not get caught or platted. Biscuit, no. Can't eat them. Not for you. And the thing is, you don't want to just throw them in the tank and get their fins caught in the net. You want to put them in the tank and have them swim out themselves. I know I flipped it around like this, but that's because I wanted him to swim out himself. I didn't want to throw him in the tank and because a lot of people do that you guys seen what happened to my uh, shovel nose that's over here he actually got caught in the net when he was a first a, when he was first a baby he was caught in his he was caught with his fin when he was a baby inside of a net and it ripped up his fin really bad you guys probably remember that from my one of my other videos hopefully these guys really like it in here I want them to because it's a lot bigger than their last home I just feel like they'd be a lot happier in a bigger tank. And guys, trust me, with all these fish in here, they're not just going to be put in the big pond like you guys think they're going to be put. And if you guys have fish and you just put them in a tank, this is something you do not want to do right here. 
You want to turn off the light. It gives them stress. And you don't want your new fish stressed out because it could possibly lead to them dying. These aren't my new fish. I just got them from that tank right there, but they're still stressed out because I took them out and I held them, I held them in a bucket for a little bit. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to feed the fish over there. I don't know if I should show it to you guys. Should I? Should I show it to you guys? I think I should. So this is what I do to get them heated. I drop a few pieces in there at first. Then the catfish start to smell it. You'll see them in a second. They'll come out. And then no. So then I drop half of it in there. And then when the pakus are starting to eat it, then I drop the rest in there. And be aware, all of this food gets eaten at one point or another. See the hybrid? He used to be so small. He used to be a little baby. The shovel nose wants to come out, he's in the back, he wants to come out, but he won't. It's so weird, it's the weirdest thing. Oh, Oscar. Boom. Like, I'll wake up and there'll be no food left inside of the tank. Ever. Oh, I think the shovel nose stayed in the back, or he got messed with or something, because I seen him freak out. There the shovel nose was, he just ate. It's the first time I've ever got him eaten on camera with a tilapia chunk. Oh, he's ate too. He likes to eat, but he does not like to eat when the light's off for some reason. He only likes to eat when the light's on, he likes to eat pellets. Here comes the outro. The worst part of the video, because I hate leaving you guys. But thank you guys for watching this video. What should I end my videos off with now? I feel like I should do something different, like something no one's ever done, because I'll catch you guys next time. Someone, I feel like some people have done that before. So let me know what you guys think I should do at the end of my videos, because there's only a few of you guys who watch the end of my videos, of course. With that being said, I'm going to end this video off like the same way I always do. Thank you guys for watching this video, and until next time, I will catch you guys later. And keep your fish happy. That too. And let me know if you guys want me to make merch.